Now, if you plan on hitting the gym this week, it's a good idea to prepare a post-workout meal that packs in the protein. Edward Hayden has just the dish with this chili-crusted salmon and sweet potatoes. Good morning. That sounds delicious. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Edward. Both. I was nice just to explaining it. to Laura that you put chili on everything. That's what it makes it sound. <laughs> 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 it makes it taste nice. I'm only in the door and you're at me already. <laughs> good point. It's good for you, though. Yeah, no, and what I was trying to kind of... My counter-argument was that I'm, I'm a big fan of the commonality Chili. of ingredients, Laura, <laughs> and kind of, you want to buy it, if, if you stick with me on the culinary journey, if you buy it, I'll get you to the end of the jar. That's I love the way. that. To get to the, the end of the jar. I get do love the... chili as well. I love you it leave well. it out. I love something with a bit of a kick. Do you know that sort of way? Oh, I have to right. say, Off I, we go, I then. do. You have two lovely fillets of salmon I have there. two gorgeous fillets of salmon, and I'm going to bake those with a gorgeous chili uh, topping. So what I'm going to do is I've got a little bit of chili. You can either leave seeds in or seeds out oh. as suits yourself. So I'm just going to leave the seeds in, bearing in mind that I'm using one of the bigger chilli. If I had the smaller little bird's eye chilies, they're where the real kind of robust heat is. Normally you just do the chilli flakes out of a bottle thing. Yeah, listen, I'm after learning so much during the COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing online fresh courses. Fresh chilli now, fresh absolutely. chilli. Not Look dealing with muck here. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm after saving up a bit during the COVID to afford the <laughs> fresh <laughs> chilli. Good man. <laughs> now, um, I'm going to put a little bit of onion. I have a little bit of shallot here. You could just put in a bit of normal onion or you could put a bit of scallion if you wanted as well. Joking uh, aside, Edward, um, is there a taste difference between the fresh chilies and the dried? Uh, there's, there's different things. I love the kind of the, the dried chilli yeah. in kind of longer cooked dishes or where you're using them as a seasoning. For this, I'm using the kind of the texture of the chilli to give me a little bit of depth to the crust. I've got a lime here as well, so I'm just going to put a bit of lime juice uh, onto um, that. Mm. So put in the juice of some limes. So all gorgeous ingredients going in there, which will marry very complementarily with the salmon. I have a little bit of uh, cayenne uh, pepper here as well. And I'm just going to put a little bit of oil. So just about a spoon or two of the rapeseed oil. And then pop that into your food processor or using your little immersion stick blender as I have. I'm just going to blend that down. So just pop that in and give it a nice little mix. Now, again, think of this marinade for lots of different things. Uh, you've probably both taken the barbecue out of uh, yes, storage from the shed. So again, think of putting it on, maybe using this for chicken breast. Think of using it Ooh. for boring pork chops or even little lamb cutlets or something. Yeah. Smearing pork it with that. Needs oh, listen, they, they need yeah, a bit of love and attention. Can be very dry. And stuff. So think of smearing that on it as like a, a barbecue marinade. Leave this as one of your staples marinades for the so barbecue. the day before you might uh, even do that. Absolutely. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some of that lovely crust and I'm going to pop that on top. Oh, I thought it'd just be drier. Like so. No, it's that because you're using the oil, the lime juice. It's a kind of like a wet marinade sort of a rub. OK, then just pop that on and that goes into the oven. Now, you can leave that sitting in the fridge to kind of to allow it to penetrate or soak through. But I'm happy enough just to pop it into the oven straight away. Now, so, how long for? Uh, about, depending on the thickness, that size piece there, you're talking about 18 or 20 minutes, 180, 350. Very easy, actually, how you know when it's done. With the salmon, when it's cooked, and I'll show you when it comes out, you just touch it to the side and there should be like a firmness. You know, at the minute, that's quite soft but there's like a firmness to the salmon. I'll show you in just a sec. Because I'm always afraid that I'm undercooking the fish. No, and that's yeah. the thing. And you mm. always would err on and the side of just coming right it, at the... And then it's sort of probably overcooked. Yeah, yeah, thing, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Now, here I've got some sweet potatoes. I've showed you this before. I chopped these this morning. I just put a little bit of damp tissue rather than leaving them sitting in a water or something like that. To that, I'm going to add some of the chilli powder or the cayenne pepper as well. I'm going to add a little bit of rapeseed oil. And I just want to remind people at home of this trick. I've told them before when I was doing some Cajun wedges. If you're ever roasting anything, whether it's carrots, parsnips, sweet potatoes, normal potatoes, whatever you're doing, don't just throw them onto the tray and throw the oil on top of it. You need to kind of coat it. That's yeah. what, so I what I did. I'm going then to it do, burns, that, just it the burns, burns the top it, of it. And you, you get do it them the really, way. you need yeah. to get them really nice. And this is the kind of a foolproof trick for roasting. You know, think people have these half burnt and half raw carrots yeah. and parsnips mm -hmm. and everything. Get them in, put on your gloves or just get in with your hands and just literally coat them to make sure that they're all done. It's very simple and it sounds kind of silly, but it works very effectively. Mm. Pour them out onto your tray then, just like that. And I've got my tray, which I've lined with parchment Roasted paper. Roasted sweet potatoes are lovely, aren't they? They're gorgeous. Delicious. And again, they're great. They're a good fibre, they're a good carb. The and they give you them. that sense of fullness yeah. as well. There's a sense of sweetness to them, yeah. Kids yeah, love them. Like well, I mean, they nearly think they're getting chips. Like chips, yeah. yeah. 
yeah. and they're used so much in kind of like baby's food for kind of weaning toddlers and things like that because they're kind of sweet and also texturally they're quite good because they don't have any lumping in there as well now i've got all my bits and pieces in here so if i can just show you those are my lovely sweet potatoes just like that so you can Very see nice, they're yes. really really nice and with the salmon um alan just as you were asking me uh, about how you will tell that cook that's in there about 18 minutes i'm militantly looking at my watch here all morning to time it to time it all i'm just going to readjust my towel there for one second so you can see now what i'm going to do is i'm using just a, my thumb and my finger just press it to the side and there should be like a firmness um, associated uh, with that. So what I've got here is I've got um, my sweet potatoes. Now I have a large platter, but I'll just give you a little individual one each. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a little bit of sweet potato. And if you wanted to add a bit of colour, just a little side salad or rocket or yeah, something? Yeah, I've got some gorgeous tender stem broccoli, oh, um, no. which I'm going to put on it, because as you've rightly said, they're kind of the same palette of colours. This is the same palette of colour. So the broccoli will give that just the most gorgeous the lift. Uh, yeah. lift. Okay, so pop that up there just like so. And we've got our lovely broccoli. And you can see the little marinade just causes a little bit of caramelisation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so pop that up And it there. will make a massive difference to the taste as well. Yeah, absolutely. Now this is oh, live television. Oh, <laughs> God's no, sake, Edward. I'm going to get away with oh. it. It'll tighten me. It'll tighten <laughs> me. But I'll never come back to get <laughs> away with it. There you have it. Now, and I've got some of this lovely uh, tender stem steamed broccoli, which I'm just going to uh, pop on there. No, so a little bit of delicious. that. And, and it's firm. gorgeous. It's, it's very quick, very broccoli. simple. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. And it's just that really nice fuel. So again, the salmon has got lovely there. protein. I'll put that there so you can have a shot of it there. Uh, Look lovely at that. protein in the salmon, the kind Looks of good gorgeous. carbs, the good fiber. As well from and also, uh, Laura, Look what we're that. looking for beautiful. this time of the year, we're looking for quick and simple because we don't want to be spending all of our time in the kitchen. We want to be We'll be in the gym and soaking dead. in the yeah, rain. We'll be, oh we'll, yeah, the no, gym, of course. The idea is we're in the gym. Yeah, That's absolutely. why we're having salmon. <laughs> or out, out on the lounger. Oh, exactly. Yes. One Catch or the other. Is it's delicious. It mm. looks gorgeous. I can't wait to tuck in. You're very Edward, welcome. Lovely to see you back. I, I know you've been back a bit, but I haven't seen you. Absolutely. Always, always, you. always great to be cooking with you. Likewise. Lovely Thank to you see so you. Much. Thanks, Edward. Now. <laughs> what will hold? Ah, chili! Chili! The chili! She put extra in. <laughs> Love it. Now, hey, what would make this dish even nicer? Eating it al fresco, perhaps? Or a glass of water, maybe. The chili? We've got the latest on the return of outdoor dining after the break. We get some Ooh. water for you. <laughs>